Okay, so good day and welcome to this another video lesson. This time, we're going to discuss or I am going to discuss about factoring difference of two squares. So this is the general form of factoring difference of two squares and that we have x squared minus y squared the factored form is equal to the quantity of x plus y times x minus y okay so to understand better we're going to have some examples okay so let's start okay so let me remind you that the concept of perfect square numbers uh, will be used here to to make our discussion or this topic quite easy for us okay so let's proceed with our first example so that is the factor x raised to 2 or x squared minus 64 so first step that is the factor x raised to 2 so always remember that x squared has a numerical coefficient of 1 here and 1 is considered as a perfect square number, isn't it? So the square root of 1 is 1 or a number that if you're going to multiply by itself, the answer is 1. But since that is, uh, since we're not going, to, we're no longer writing 1 here, so you're just going to factor x squared. So what is the factor of x squared? Okay, so you have x times x. So, plus if you see, you have x squared, it, it's automatically that the factored form of this is x squared. So, no need to write 1 here. Okay, so next is the factor. Our second term, you have 64. So, what is the square root of 64? Or a number that if you're going to multiply by itself, the answer is 64. Okay, so the answer is 8. No? Pag tinimes natin yung 8 at saka 8, ang sagot natin ay 64. Okay? So after that, we're going to do the pairing. So i-prepare natin yung first x natin doon kay 8. And then the second one, you have another x here. Pair naman natin siya doon sa isang 8. So after pairing, you're going to place that inside the parentheses no so you have x then my blank jan you have 8 then pares lang din po sa kabilang side so you have x blank 8 so para saan yung blank na ito so that will be for the operations of our factors okay so since that is um negative or subtraction and we are talking about product here so two signs that we're going to multiply that will give us um, a result of negative that is one positive and the other one is negative okay and that is our factor or that is already our answer for x squared minus 64 so ganyan lang po kadali no so you have x plus 8 then yung isa naman is x minus 8 okay next Okay, so example number 2, so we're going to factor 81x squared minus 121. So as you can see, x squared here, the numerical coefficient is already higher than 1. So ganun pa rin yung process, we're going to think of a number that we're going to multiply. No, pag it times mo sa sarili niya, the answer is 81. Or in short, the square root of 81, so that is equal to 9. So you have 9 times 9. And then factor also the variable, you have x squared, so that is x times x. Okay, then also for 121, so the square root of 121 is 11 and 11. Then after that, we're going to do the pairing, so you have 9x and 11. Then you also have 9x and another 11. And then place that inside the parentheses, or parentheses, ilalagay lang sa loob. And then, you're going to place now their operations. So, the first one is positive and the other one is negative. Okay? And that is already our final answer. Okay, next. Okay, so let's have example number 3. 
So for this example, we're going to factor 4x squared minus 49y squared. So as you can see, each term, they have their own variable. So always remember the process will still be the same. So again, for the first term, we're going to take the square root of 4. And that is equal to 2. And then factor also for x squared. So we have x times x. Next, factor 49y squared. So take the square root of 49. That is equal to 7. So this time, the other variable is y. So of course, we're going to factor y squared. So that is equal to y times y. Okay, so you need to observe also of the variables or the letters being used in our um, expressions. Okay, so next, we're going to do the pairing. So you have to pair 2x and 7y, then another 2x with 7y. So place them inside the parentheses and then assign the unlike signs. You have the first factor as positive and the other one as negative. And that we have now our final answer as quantity 2x plus 7y. Then the other one is quantity 2x minus 7y. Okay, so how about example number 4? So you have 64x raised to 4 minus 9y raised to 8. So as you can see, the exponent of our variable is already higher than 2. So you have 4 while the other one is already 8. Okay? So how are we going to take the factor of this? So first step, again, so take the square root of 64. That is 8. So you have 8 times 8. And then next thing to do is to copy x and then just divide the exponent by 2. No, Take the half of our exponent. So the half of 4 is 2. So you have now x squared and x squared. Next, for 9y raised to 8, so you need to take uh, the square root of 9. So you have 3 times 3. And then y raised to 8, so take the half or 8 divided by 2. So that is y raised to 4 and y raised to 4. So next, we're just going to do the pairing. So you have 8x squared, then 3y squared, and then do the same. So place them inside the parentheses. So you have to assign now we our operations. So you have positive and negative. Okay, so this is our final answer. So you have quantity 8x squared plus 3y raised to 4. Then you have the other one as quantity 8x raised to 2 minus 3y raised to 4. Next. For example number 5, so you have to factor now. So as you can see, each term, no, they have more than one variable. So you have 4 a raised to 10 and b raised to 8 minus 9 c raised to 4 and d raised to 6. So again, same process. Take the square root of 4. So that is equal to 2. Now you have 2 times 2. Then take the half of our first variable, a, a raised to 10, so divided by 2. That is equal to a raised to 5. Then for b raised to 8, so divide it by 2. So the answer is b raised to 4. Then the second one, you have 9c raised to 4 and d raised to 6. So square root of 9, you have 3 times 3. Then for c raised to 4, divide it by 2. So you have c squared and c squared. And then for d raised to 6, divide it by 2. So you have d raised to 3 d raised to 3. Then do the pairing again. Then place them inside the parentheses. So you have now. Okay, so assign the two unlike signs. So the first factor is positive, then the other one is negative. And that we have our final answer as quantity 2a raised to 5, b raised to 4, plus 3c raised to 2, d raised to cube, or uh, raised to 3, then quantity 2a raised to 5, b raised to 4, minus 3c raised to 2, d raised to 3. Okay, so that is our final answer. Okay, so that is all about how to factor difference of two squares. Okay, so that ends.
Okay, so that ends about factoring difference of two squares. I hope you learned something for today. So once again, thank you and keep safe.